channel today, we need to check whether it's recording or not. <laughs> I'll be doing a little first impressions and demo on this long awaited Dior Rouge Gradient, the Lip Shadow Duo. It's powdery matte finish. I've been holding on to this for the longest time. Dior actually sent me a couple of like a bunch of products actually from their spring summer collection or pretty much just spring collection. I've just been waiting for this video to be done because I really want to do like a first impressions kind of thing with you guys. This is how it looks like. I've only swatched this on the back of my hand. I've never used this on my lips yet. So I have nothing on my lips now, not even lip balm or anything. I have it in 755. It's written 755 red. You see they have a lighter shade and also a darker shade here. So it's more of like, this one is more of like a peachy kind of color. And this is more of like a red, pink red kind of color. Let's see if they give an instruction on how to use this or not. Oh yeah, they did. Neutralize the lip color by applying the light shade all over the lip. And apply the dark shade in touches starting from the center of the lips and then blend for bitten lip effect. This is like an after couple hours kind of makeup. So just bear with me. I just really really want to do this video. I really really want to get this video out because it's been so long. So you twist it up. It's not a pull thing and there's like a sponge applicator here and the powder is actually somewhere in there. So first we're gonna neutralize the lips by applying the lighter shade which is more of like a peachy shade if you can see from here. Oh it's coming out more pink than peach. Bear in mind this is quite powdery so I mean it's very soft. The applicator is very the red inside but in real life it does look pretty good okay so zooming you out yeah i like the color to be honest personally i do like the color but what i don't like about it is that it's actually really drying i mean it's kind of expected a lot because it's written powdery matte finish so and it's powder kind of lip product the whole powder kind of lip product is actually kind of quite popular in korea right now the gradient wise i think it's actually quite easy to use like when you use the um the lighter shade and then you use the darker shade to just tap on the center of the lips it's actually very very easy to do the whole gradient effect as compared to probably like a colourpop liquid lipstick the matte one the super matte one it's about that, but this is a little bit thinner. It feels definitely not as heavy. It feels more lightweight than the ColourPop uh, liquid lipstick. This is actually a really good matte lipstick or a matte lip product that doesn't transfer, but I think, I have a feeling that it's not after you eat or drink. This is gonna wear down even faster than a liquid lipstick. Yeah, the only thing that I really don't like about this is drying. So if you have no issues with dry kind of lip products, then it's cool with you but I think for me, I would definitely still like add on a balm on top of this or like a clear lip gloss to kind of moisturize my lips that's how I usually conquer my dry lipsticks the lipstick or lip colors that I absolutely love um, but they're so drying that I just, I just can't bear using it by itself but I really do like the color, it's really nice and the usability of this, it is so portable, it's such a such an easy product to apply on and to carry on and definitely um, it's very versatile as well you can actually use this just on its own the one color on its own okay so that's pretty much it for this video i hope this uh, review helps i hope this demo helps i will see you guys in my next video bye